So using AI software to create t-shirt designs was a little bit difficult in the past video where we used Discord and Midjourney. But just recently I was using Kittle and just realized that they actually have AI now. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. So we could just start off by clicking start creating with Kittle AI and we could already start off from scratch. Now that's cool, but you know me, I like to use templates. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a few look at a few ideas that we can use. So, you know, I'm a big fan of lightning bolts. Love the Y2K stuff. I'm starting to grow out of it a little bit, but you know, it's it, it just aesthetically pleasing. This right here is, is kind of interesting. I like that kiddish style design as well, but let's not open too many up. Let's go ahead and check out the two that we have. We have this one, go ahead and click use this design. Also this one right here. So I only need one of them. Let's go with the one that has the color. So what I'm going to do is delete this one. And what's up with this background? Let's see here. Let's click layers, remove background shape. And then here we have it, we have our design. Let's go ahead and change this canvas size to our t-shirt canvas size, right? So we'll do something around 12 by 16 inches tall. That's fairly typical. Now we have an idea of our placement for a teacher, teacher, a t-shirt. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna put this here. Let's see what this AI is all about. So it looks like they work off of credits. I have 100 credits and um, let's go ahead and get an idea of what we want, right? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't, I don't even know y'all. Skeleton head on fire, vector t-shirt design. Uh, lightning in the background, purple and yellow. Now I'm gonna scroll down to generate image. Let's see what happens. I'm always excited by AI because you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes it can be a disappointment, but sometimes it can be amazing. And this right here is going to be pretty decent. This is this is usable. All right, so now they have the AI background remover. So let's go ahead and remove the background. Um, I always like to type in vector t-shirt design because it, it generates a flat image instead of a photorealistic one and it's something that's more usable when it comes to a t-shirt print. Alright, so that removed our background for us and the only thing about it is I guess we can't really play with the colors since it is an image, huh? But we can raise the contrast up, lower the saturation a bit, lower the brightness. And I guess that's the best we could do right there. So it's not necessarily in multiple different layers, but what we can do is take our text and make it the same color as our actual skeleton. All right, so what we're gonna do is take the purple out and we're gonna turn that into a pink that's kind of similar to the skeleton. Our blue is already similar. We just need to remove a different color. Maybe it's the hot pink that's getting, up, getting to me. Let's change that to blue. That does a little bit better for me. Let's make it a little darker. Change that one to a darker blue. Now the colors are pretty similar. So for a directed garment print for a t-shirt, this is gonna be no problem because it's going to be an image and you can just automatically send this to your directed garment printer. Now when it comes to a screen printer, you have to find someone who's able to vectorize this for you with like little to no charge. My screen printer does a good job with this. Now I'm gonna take the same text once again and see if I can generate something a little bit different. I like it, but let's see if we can find something else. Generate image. Oh, this one is way better. Yes, deleting this one. Okay, this one's way better. All right, so I'm gonna remove the background. Oh yeah, now that one right there. That would do. Now, instead of using this text, I'm gonna go back to Kittle. Not going to use that anymore. I'm just gonna type in fire and see what pops up. This text right here is gonna work a lot better. Or even this one right here. This is pretty interesting right here. I just don't care, huh? Okay, so now use this design. So check it out, I deleted that. Didn't even need that to begin with because now I like the skeleton. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna copy all of this, bring it on over here. Can't really see it. Let's go ahead and make the background black. 
gonna move this out of the way for now. Go ahead and type in my cloning brand name. Nice. This is a pretty dope font right here, box pot. Oh, nice. So as you can see, that's what I like about Kittle because it reformats it in the style that it was in. As you can see, it's on this like curved line right here and it's a whole different size. But when I double click it, I can just edit the text. I'm sure same thing right here. As you can see, it has this little pin line right here so that you know the letters drop off. But you don't really have to worry about recreating that after you edit the text. This is pretty cool. There we go. Now the smiley face, let's go ahead and move this over here. Oh, this has some fire elements too. So I'm gonna copy and paste this, bring this to the side. I'm gonna use more of it in a second. Now I'm bringing my skeleton guy back up front. And now let's go ahead and change our colors to be the same format as our skeleton. Now I'm gonna come over here. Let's change this red to more of this pink, almost purple color. The purple might do as well, but we see like there's some kind of almost pink color right here. Let's see if we can find that color. Oh, here's the eyedropper. Let's do that. That almost works. Let me see it again. There we go. Uh, let's let's shoot for this orange right here. All right, that's much better. Make sure you stay to the end, guys. I got a special promo code just for you guys. Copy this right here. Let's go ahead and move this right here. And then we're gonna copy and paste it one more time. And I'm gonna bring it to the front this time. But this time, instead of it being yellow, I'm gonna make it the same purple as this dude's jersey or shirt, whatever it is. Take the eyedropper right there, boom. Let's go ahead and change this purple and make sure it's the same color as well, boom. Now I'm also going to take it and bring it over here. Let's try that out. That looks a little bit okay. Probably right there or so. Now that right there is a quick and easy way of doing a design with AI and using... A lot of people are saying if you use Kittle, everyone's going to have the same design. But AI just gave it a whole different edge. And now you can literally create something 100% unique with a platform that is easy to use. All right, so I have a promo code for you guys. The link is down below. Make sure you click it, it is $15 credit. That is the equivalent of a one month Kittle Pro plan. This promo code is only valid for seven days, so make sure you take action and click that link and use that promo code. If you enjoyed that video, feel free to let me know. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, because I thought that was pretty dope because we did this with AI, with a platform that's really easy to use to create t-shirt designs, and now, your actual designs is 100% unique. I heard a lot of people talking about using templates and everyone's gonna have this particular design. I don't think that's gonna be a problem anymore. Hit the like button, see you guys next time.